Hey everybody, Patrick here. I'm doing another video with the Treehouse Outdoors here. And we're going to be taking a look at a Springer today. The FAMAS F1 from Crossman. Pretty nice. We're going to start from the gun, from the top of the gun, down. Now, let's talk about some of the main things here. FPS, pretty solid actually for a Springer shoots around 320 FPS but note the only downside to this gun is when you're shooting you t if you tilt the barrel down the BB will roll out the barrel so it's, you're gonna you can't really aim down much but you know if you're in a level field you're not gonna really be a aiming down if, you know if you're at the top of a fort or something you're in trouble but otherwise pretty good gun maybe CQB for whatever you play Probably just a, a toy gun, you know, but oh well. Gun is composed of plastic. The only metal parts on here are, of course, your screws and the back ambidextrous sling points. All right, starting at the top of the gun, we have the orange tip right here. It's threaded on the outside, so it's not a normal suppressor. Actually, it's for a FAMAS barrel extension which you can't commonly pick up. It comes in the package. Maybe you can find one somewhere. I don't know. But right here we have your front sight. Pretty good. Adjustable for windage. You can just slide it back and forth. Moving down slightly, you ha we have your plastic ambidextrous sling point on each side. Pretty nice right here. You can see them. Get a little close-up right there. Moving down, overall we have the carry handle, which you know most people don't really carry it by the handle on M4s, M16s, you know, but it's cool. Um, we have your charging handle. Pretty good. I have not found a hop-up on here yet, but no, no hop up. I cannot find one. If you have found one, please comment down below. All right, moving down, we have your pistol grip with your wider handguard. I like to hold my gun like this by the handguard, so it comes in handy for me. Don't really like to hold it, but like this. Hold it right here. Be solid. Now, moving back, we have your rear sight, which is just basically a peephole sight and just look at the front. Really, all it's adjustable for is windage. I don't see why you're going to want much elevation. Because, you know, not a lot of us use that unless we're shooting pretty long ranges, but you know, with a 300 FPS gun, 320, you know, you're not going to be shooting that far away anyway. Pretty close engagements. Um, backup weapon, I suppose. And we have your your, um, what do you call it, safety. Alright, now you just push the trigger up slightly, and then it just fits right in there. Trigger cannot be pulled. You have to push the trigger back, and then pop it back. Now, moving on back, you have your imitation, uh, eject, whatever. Just moving on. Um, we have your mag release right here. 50 round magazine. Pretty nice. Now, right here is where your gears go and stuff. Considering the fact that it is a bolt up weapon. Now, in the pistol group right here, I actually don't have a knife on me right now. You can remove this little spot right here, and it reveals a compartment in your pistol grip holding, you know, anything, whatever you want, um, I suppose maybe some cigarettes if you smoke, but I don't, so, you know, just a little compartment there, two screws, but really, it'll hold by itself, I don't see it getting loose anytime soon, so, pretty solid gun overall, um, Back here on the butt plate, we have little rough ridges right here, so grips to your shoulder rather nice. 
pretty nice gun. Overall, I like it. I like it, but you know, oh well. We are going to do a shooting test now. Just going to shoot to the tree over here and back, about 50 feet. Alright. Try to get the camera set up here. Now you can see the tree closest to us over by the hammock. It's just about 50 feet away, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot at it using .12 gram BBs. With .12 gram BBs, you're getting about 320 FPS. And with um, with .20 gram BBs, you're getting about 300. So let's get right into the shooting test. Load a few bullets in, not all the way, with my speed loader. All right. We're going to shoot mm, about five shots, actually. Well, let's fire six, all right? So we can get kind of a half and a half reading. Hit. Sorry, guys, my phone fell. The vibration from the gun. So let's put it back up. Doesn't look like we're gonna hold very good, guys. So might have some problems here. All right, see if it'll hold. So won't hold my gun on the railing. Second one was a hit. That's two out of two. That was a miss. I think the wind curved that one out, but I am just using .12 gram BBs, so. Four shot was a hit. Out of BBs, guys. Only loaded five rounds in. Four rounds, sorry. Alright. So, we got four shots out. Which we got, I think, three out of four. Yep. This shot was a hit. Six, six shot was a hit. So, pretty good gun. Really like it. And I really wouldn't know where to pick up this gun. Pretty solid gun overall. I definitely, I mean, I wouldn't highly recommend it. But you know, for you beginner airsofters, it's a pretty good gun. You know, that don't want a AEG with a battery. You don't have to wor worry about running out, except for BBs. But, you know, pretty short mag, just a springer. You're not going to be wasting many BBs. So, pretty good gun overall. Really like it. And I hope you guys do too. So, thanks for watching my video. Remember, like the video and all my videos, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.